Hi, I'm Coach Squad 11 Lesson Part 5 from Irving Primary School. This lesson is Differential Equations, Chapter 1, Separable Differential Equations. For this lesson, which we also have our applications of our separable differential equations, and remember, this type of differential equations is the Ordinary Differential Equations, ODE. So for this question, which is the decaying rate of a radioactive substance? The decaying rate, it means like how much this mass decreases. That is actually like decreasing is dm over m dt and it is negative 0 0.02 from m this symbol is actually the initial mass which is the mass at first like how much mass you start with that is 24 grams so we need to find the value of m when it is after 30 days. Next is the half-life. Half-life, it is when the mass it decreases by half. And this is the time taken. And this last part, which is the rate at which the mass is decreasing. When t is 50 days. That means after 50 days, find the rate like how much the mass decreases at which rate. So first for this, we can actually find a general formula for this. Remember dm over m. So for this, we can times the dt to the other side. So at this time, we can both sides integrate. But remember, best is to use definite integral. So time, for example, is from, of course, time starts from zero. For example, zero all the way to t. m, it starts from 24 all the way to an m. Why it starts from 24? Well, this is actually decreasing. If it is actually increasing, remember, m is smaller than 24. Increasing is the other way around. So remember, over m, which will have that ln. Ln is the natural logarithm. So after that, here is just t, so it's a negative 0.02t. And remember, these two, the long something minus long something is actually along this divide. Which is actually like this. Long. What is the inverse operation of long? Well, that is the exponential. So here we can have m over 24. Which here? Remember, e to the power of this. So you can find what is m. Just times the 24 to the other side. Just like this. So we actually can use this to find out the m. So for example, let's try the first part. t, we already know, is 30 days. Remember for this, negative 0 0.02 times 30 is actually a negative 0 0.6. So actually, well, this can be our answer, but remember about this, if you want to find out the actual value, you can use calculator.
So for this, which is actually 13.1715. And remember, this unit is grams. So it is actually just for part A. So for the next point, which will have our half-life. Half-life, it is the time taken for the mass to decrease into half of its original mass, which is actually to decay into half of its original mass. So for this, we still can use this formula. It's just that we start in our mass. How do we know our mass? Half life, half of our mass, so it's just 12. But the time is what we're finding. So I can guess it by. So therefore this, the exponential which will have our inverse operation is the logarithm so the long half but remember here I divide so it's actually a long one minus a long two long one is a zero so it's actually a negative long two so we don't need our negative here So then for this, we can divide this to the other side. So for this, we actually just use calculator. which is around 34.6574 and remember for this we're finding the time so this is days so this the time for this t we can write it as the tall and it's very strange that it is actually a long two then over this part is our lambda So for this, it is actually very, very important. For tests, we can straight away use this formula, especially for our half-life. So this, we can apply in our many questions. How do we find a lambda? Well, we can measure, we can go counting, we can timing, we can survey, we can have a lot, a lot of methods to find this lambda. Okay, so next we can have our third part. So for this third part, which is the rate at which the mass is decreasing when 50 days passed, so this rate the rate we can actually have, well, we can have different ways of saying it. The rate of change. The change rate. And another way of saying this is actually the related rate of change. So we actually have these ways of saying it. Well, this is actually most possibly, when we're talking about rate, is actually most possibly this. Remember, these are actually the same. So how should we find our rate? Well, rate, it is for differentiation. So, 
So we can just differentiate both of these with respect to time. Remember for this grade, it's always with respect to time. So here we can only put it as a dm dt. So for this part, remember about our chain rule. And for this, remember, our time is 50 days. So here, we'll need to start time as 50. So we just need to start this in, and then we just use calculator to calculate. So this is around negative 0 0.1766. Well, we can write this as percentage. Which is like this. So for this, our unit is grams per day. Okay, so this is all for our first part, second part, and third part. So, for the first part, which we can find a general formula. So, for our part at the back, it's actually much easier to find it. So, we can end our lesson here. And if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for your watching.